I remember one time I went home after skipping and swimming. And at this time, like, my hair went back. And I had, like, gel in it and stuff. And it went back kind of, you know, so, like, the little curly, little yeah. gel shit going on. So uh, one day I go home to my aunt crib. And she like, she like, what's up? Uh, how was school today? I'm like, yeah, it was good. <laughs> but I ain't go. I was skipping, but I'm like, yeah, it was cool, it was cool, you know, woo, woo. and she asked me little questions and shit, and I'm just lying and shit, and uh, she knew I was skipped, she knew I had skipped, I don't know how, but she knew, and uh, she felt my hair, like, why your hair so dry, I'm like, I don't know, whatever, whatever, and then that's when she just came out, like, like you ain't go to school, you was skipping, woo, woo, woo. you was over there swimming and shit, so I don't know how she found out, but yeah, that was, that was funny to me or whatever, um, but yeah, I used to skip school, swim, stuff like that. And uh, I ended up failing in seventh grade. I ended up failing. And uh, I had to repeat the seventh grade when I came back. Yeah, but Puerto Rico schools, was it, it was different. It was a different experience. Uh, like for lunch, the lunch ladies from the cafeteria would come to each classroom and they'll take like, you know, raise their hands, who all coming to the cafeteria to eat? And they making a... Uh, Rice and gondolas and chuletas and, you know, just shit like that for, for lunch or whatever. But if you didn't uh, go there, a lot of times, a lot of the kids, they had these little stores were like walking distance, like right across the street from the school. And so like every, all the kids would get like from their parents, you'll get like lunch money, basically. And uh, like your parents could send you with like a dollar or two, really. And uh, you could buy sandwiches, like like a piece of a sandwich, 25 cent, 50 cent. 75, you know, the the ICs was started at 25 cent, 50 cent, like, so, like, a lot of times, like, I would just go to the stores and just get the little sandwiches for the low or, you know, the the ICs and the candies and snacks and shit, like, I would just do that while I'm skipping and stuff. They will have, like, the flower lady pat walking around. And, and you could buy the flowers and shit. So I, I, you know, when she, whenever she walking around selling the flowers, I buy the uh, flowers off her a couple of them, and then be handing them out to all the little pretty females that I had crushes on and stuff. And uh, they, it was, it was straight. It was cool. You know, a lot of the girls, uh, they took a liking to me. I don't know, maybe just cause, maybe cause in their eyes, I don't know. Shit, I'm new. I'm, I'm foreign to them type shit. You know, I don't know, but. Fresh meat. Yeah, it was a, it was a dope little experience, you know. And uh, I took the swag from the states, you know, the the forces and all that stuff, you know. At that time, niggas wasn't wearing that shit out there, you know. They was having the belts dangling, like you know, from the front, like you know, like that swag was just completely different. It's more modern now, but back then, at that time, like this was when Daddy Yankee first coming out type shit, and he ain't even mainstream yet. Like they still underground type shit, you know. Buzzing through PR. Type shit, yeah. Maybe uh like South America a little bit, but like yeah, he was still early PR shit. And uh yeah, that that shit was dope. That shit was dope. It was an experience for sure.